What's up, Transformers fans? Welcome back to another episode of Transformers Spotlight, a web series that gives me a reason to take my toys off the shelf. Today we have none other than everybody's favorite Transformer, one that has plagued store shelves for about two years now. We have Studio Series 86 Coronation Starscream, and as you can see, I have him fully displayed in his Coronation outfit. A very rare sight indeed. I never display him like this. I keep him just regular old Starscream, second in command of the Decepticons, nothing more. Sorry, Starscream. Just, no. <laughs> but, yes, this figure is uh, an unpleasant sight for most collectors these days. Um, a lot of us, including myself, um, really does not want to see him anymore. Uh you know, silly me, I ended up getting like 12 of him, uh, one to keep just like this, and the others to custom paint. So that's really the only purpose of that. So, um, I mean, I was able to get the rest of them for like 5 to 10 bucks a pop, so I figured why not. But anyway, really quick, we'll take a quick look at the throne. Not too bad, but... Uh, would definitely look a lot better if Megatron or Galvatron were sitting in it. <laughs> so, uh, on the back side, I currently have the regular Null Rays just plugged in on the back. You got this big open space here to stick the rest of the accessories. But this throne is really... Um, I, I keep this in storage. I have no real place to put it. I have like 12 of these thrones just sitting in a bin. <laughs> Same goes with with uh, his cape, his extra null rays, shoulder pads, and the crown. So I got plenty of extras. So uh, real quick, we'll just take a look at uh, Starscream wearing his full on outfit, and then we'll uh, quickly take it off. But uh, there he is. You can see his crown, you know, nice and golden before Galvatron smashed it. Um, really nice looking paint apps on it. I, I like the way the shoulder pads look. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen them. Again, it's been in a bin for a while, so. But, uh, here are the second set of Null Rays that he comes with. You can see it's pegged in right there to the shoulder pad. So it can hinge up and down like that. And then, as for the cape, you see just regular old cape. You just move this out of the way, and if you want the cape to, to flow, it's on a double hinge. So you can extend it like that, make it a much wider looking cape. So, that's a pretty cool option. But anyway, uh, to store everything, um, I'm not going to sit Starscream in the throne. I'm just, <laughs> just going to leave it right there. Uh, but we'll go ahead and take off the, the crown. See that? done in a blue plastic. Take off the cape. Starscream, you don't deserve to be a leader of the Decepticons. And then we got the shoulder pads here. They just plug into the shoulders, just like that. And I'm gonna leave the null rays attached. There's no real reason for me to untab them. This one's a little tough. There we go. So. Before we get to Starscream him, himself, I'll just quickly show um, um, all the accessories being stored onto the throne. So we'll just take these no rays off. And then, let's see here. Well, eh, might as well. I changed my mind. We'll take these little no rays off right here, separate them from the shoulder pad because there is a place for them. You can just plug them in on the back right here. Just like that. And then the cape can go in this uh, center one right there. So that's a good storage option. If, if you want to have your star screen displayed sitting in the throne, you know, options are good. But as far as the shoulder pads, and the crown, they just go right inside here, and yeah, all tucked away and hidden. Anyway, 
Moving on from all of that, we'll go ahead and plug in Starscream's Null Rays. And there we go. Now this is the look I prefer, which most people do. But uh, this Starscream, in my opinion, is so much better than the Earthrise version. Granted that the Earthrise version uh, had a bit of a darker shade of uh, white or gray or whatever you want to call this color. Um, and on these uh, wings here, they actually had a, um, a design uh, painted on there. I, I kind of sort of like this version without any of the, uh, the extra detail because this one's a bit more cartoon accurate and that's just what I'm going for. But uh, Starscream himself is a fantastic figure. I love the mold. There are a couple things that I dislike about having the entire nose cone just on his back like this. Um, uh, I, I do like the ingenuity. It's a very fun transformation. Uh, this one, I believe I could do it blindfolded, but uh, might save that for another time. <laughs> uh, but um, uh, one major improvement I love about this version of the Seeker mold is that they have opening and closing hands. It's just on a single hinge. All the fingers are... Uh, um, molded together so it's just you can open and close the hand so I thought that was a really nice improvement so I do like that very much but uh, anyway moving on to transformation first thing you got to do of course remove the null rays and um, the seeker is definitely one of my favorite figures I like to mess with and transform so uh, this figure in particular uh, I get I pull off the shelf quite often, including um, um, Thundercracker and Skywarp. So I just, I really like Seekers. So uh, next thing, plug it in the feet. Bring the, uh, the wings down. Close up the feet. Lift up his uh, crotch plate. Close the fists. Collapse the arms upon themselves. And then go ahead and undo the chest, opening everything up just like so. Bring the nose cone, clip that into place. Now, there is plenty of room, in my opinion. They maybe could have done something with this nose cone. You got plenty of space right here on this side and this side. I think they could have done something, but it may just not have been in the budget, but eh, whatever. I I like the mold, I like the figure. So I just rotate the nose cone around, plugging that into place. You take the arms, lifting them in, just like that. And I really like uh, how they they took care of the arms, how it just folds away like that. Now, of course, you have the entire chest piece just chilling out on the bottom there but uh, you know it, it doesn't bother me we've seen it before even with the masterpiece figures so go ahead and collapse the legs making sure that clips into place there we go and this one there we go. That's a tight squeeze right there, but uh, we got it. Close up the shins, flip down the crotch plate, and all we have to do now is flip the wings around. So, last thing, of course, plugging the null rays into the bottom of the wings. Just like that. And there we have Starscream in his jet mode, and I love the jet mode. The jet mode is fantastic. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't look the best looking at it from this angle. It, it doesn't bother me all that much. Every jet former that we have always, always, always has some robot kibble underneath. Like, you can clearly see nearly the entire robot mode right there on the bottom just collapsed. But... But yeah, no, it's a fantastic jet mode. I love it very much. This is a great looking figure. 
and again, it's it's missing the uh, the detail along the wings on the top here. Uh, the Earthrise version had that, but I'm glad this version does not, just for cartoon accuracy. Another difference I noticed that I'm very pleased to see on this one is that there are two spots right here that was present in the movie and I believe the cartoon. Um, the Earthrise did not have those painted spots right there, so I think that was a really nice touch. So, you can see the two Decepticon symbols on each side of the wing. And just having all these Seekers together in both robot and vehicle mode is a sight to behold. I, I love Seekers. I've collected a whole bunch of them. Maybe in a future video I'll show them off, but who knows. Um, but anyway, going back into robot mode, we'll just run through it really quick. Now, uh, the next one I'm thinking about doing is uh, Thundercracker and Skywarp. I may not go through the transformation because I'm doing it here today, so... You know, I might. Who knows? All right, flip the wings up. Flip these wings down. Flip up the toes. Flip down the crotch piece, the shins. Flip those down. And then this part, you got to tab. You got these tabs. I don't know how well you can see it, but inside there, you need to tab them into the back of the legs. One always likes to do it while the other one likes to be stubborn. Tab the kneecaps into place so the legs don't get undone. Separate the legs and on this one mine is pretty tight. I gotta be real careful not to break those tabs. Flip the crotch plate down. Unhook the chest cavity just like this. And now the only Seeker that I've ever owned uh, that had an issue with this hinge that, you know, you just fold it in like that, is that the pin wasn't uh, placed correctly, so the plastic was already cracking, and this enti the entire armature broke off, and that figure was uh, Toxitron Cloud Cover. I got him, I transformed him once, and the whole thing just broke off, so I had to get another one. So it was pretty frustrating, but uh, if you have a copy of any Seeker mold that has any issues like that, just pay very close attention, or else you may have to buy another one. And I pray to God that doesn't happen with Thundercracker and Skywarp. Those guys are pretty expensive these days, so. Anyway, close the chest back up. Take the nose cone, flip it down to the back and out of the way. And now all we need to do is open up the arms, open up the hands. And on this one, it's real tight. Just like that. Just open up the arms, flip the hand down, open up the hand, and get him standing up nice and proper. And now all is left. We put the null rays back on his shoulders. And there you go. There you have Studio Series 86 Coronation Starscream back in his robot mode. And I believe it was um, an unfortunate thing the, the way Hasbro decided to price this figure. It's just the Earthrise mold. It's a Voyager class figure, but with a bunch of extra crap included. <laughs> I mean, it's nice to have the coronation set, you know, you always display options, but putting it at a leader class price point for a reissue or a, re a redo of the same character, eh, whatever. But anyway, guys, that'll pretty much do it for me today. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and until next time, I'll talk to you later.